Evening, everyone. What? Oh, the get-up. Yes. Well, turns out we're in the middle of an energy crisis at the moment, and the new flat up here in the north, uh, it's really cold up here, like really cold, and my southern skin is not used to it, neither is Abby's. I did have a beanie hat, but because I made fun of Abby's one, I had to burn it. So the cap is having to do. Got my snood, got my Winnie the Pooh dressing gown. It's actually Abby's, but she's lent it to me for the purpose of today's video. I got a blanket as well, so... I'm very, I'm well up for it. Gonna go and beat these southern softies, Ipswich. They're leading the league at the moment, but not after today. I've gone northern. I'm made of tough stuff. Don't even know if this is a Derby accent. Let's get the bastards. <laughs> Welcome to episode 16 of FIFA 23, Derby County Career Mode. I sound like Sean. What are the rest of the league, Sean? Bastards. I mean, I can't promise that I won't be making lots of impressions. There's going to be a lot of, Jon Snow, I don't laugh very much these days. Mainly because I'm watching Mike Rogers videos. It's not been the same since the wall fell. And I stand my girlfriend in the art. Actually, she was my aunt. Spoilers. It's going to be a good episode today, have you got that feeling? And for good reason, viewers, because it's a big day. First off, we have Oxford Southern Softies. And then after that, we've got the Tractor Boys. Pretty self-explanatory. Uh, Ipswich away, they're leading the league at the moment. And then after that, it's the Shrimps Morecambe. We like them. They're northern. We're going back to live because, obviously, I've now recovered from the... Uh, the curry sloshes, as I'm going to call it. So you've got my normal voice back today, and whoop de doo night is is off on international duty. Huzzah. It's going to do that thing, isn't it, where I've tried to select my own team, and then it's going to do... You've got to automatically select it, because it's a glitch. <laughs> yay, yay, don't fix glitches. Why would you do that? Especially ones from FIFA 18. Why would you go back and fix that? You've only had four weeks to do it. Oh, five, actually. Good math, mate. Mongrels, bastards. Take bets in the comment section on how many times I can say the word bastard. Looks like Corey Smith's been put into the midfield because I've not played him all season, so obviously they were playing. Remember, I'm still trying to get seven clean sheets at home to make sure that I can try and keep my job before the end of the year. Or the end of the season because apparently it doesn't matter that I'm going to get promoted. I say I'm going to get promoted. We don't know that. We don't know that. That's a good ball. Oh, lovely from Sibley. Oh, what have I done? Oh, that's okay. It worked. I should have just hit it with Mendes Lang, but I got away with it. Graylinger scores. Get in. It's a lovely work goal, to be fair. Nice and patient. Lovely done. Sibley is always playing the great ball through. The defender made the right draw. Actually, it's terrible defending. He went to cover the run and then just got completely lost his bearings. It was a terrible effort. The keeping, though, is... I mean, what is that? What is that mullet? I love that. So bloody perb. Good tackling, boys. And so, is my nose shrinking? Because my glasses are falling down my face. It's finally happening. A normal-sized nose is coming. Mark Harrison's in. The tease it, Greylinger! Oh my god, he could have had two, and he's absolutely hit the beans on toast. Oh, oh boy. Into Mendes Lang. Mendes Wang. That's literally his name now, and I can't put that in, yeah, as part of the bloody thumbnail because obviously it'll get taken down from YouTube. This ain't Pornhub. But it's so annoying. He's so Wang right now. You stupid bastard! Normally I'd be playing Dobbin, but he won't let me. No! Oh, well, good to know the clean sheet is gone. Oh, I've got Harry Styles hair. Superb. And how's that happened? How's this happened? How's Taylor got the head of Tanganga? And the chest control is suit. Yeah, bollocks, I think is the word. I'm really in trouble when it comes to this whole clean sheet nonsense. Because there's just no way I'm going to be able to do it. They always give them a goal. In some way, shape or form, there's always some bit of nonsense that lets them get a goal. 
how am I meant to defend what just happened there with that sort of well, what a bit of play by Mendes there he finds Sibley what a goal that is doesn't matter though it's 2-1 if it was 2-0 I'd be very happy I suppose ultimately all I can keep doing is winning games and then hope that we get closer to Ipswich but great ball by Mendes the first time Mendes Wang does something quite good actually he gets right down that uh, right hand side tees over to Sibley great first touch Always in the right place at the right time, making those extra support runs. That's what he's there for. He's got the runs. Actually, too soon. Too soon. Well, two and a half time. Not bad. A bit of wonderful control. Love that there. Taylor with his chest control a minute ago. Barkhausen can't chest one or take any control one that's literally softly just dabbed into him. Absolutely ridiculous. Is that because then it wouldn't result in a goal to get me sacked? Of course not. Bullshit. Oh, don't worry, I'm sure Taylor will just chest this in like Messi. What a save by Borgia. This, this Taylor nonsense up front has to stop. Did you see his control there? This has to stop. It ain't Neymar, mate. Mainly because he wasn't rolling around on the floor like a little bitch. But at the same time, like, no. No, no, no. Oh, God, I'm not even playing Godwin Belief. I've had Wad at the back. Hmm, interesting. I'd say no wonder we conceded, but we always concede no matter who's in the team. We're going to make the executive decision. I'm going to take Lungoy off and Torre's going to come on. That's that's going to go down well. Oh, I love that. Wow, that's lovely ball. Into Dobbin. Dobbin! Oh, Sippers. Oh, Torre! Yeah! I thought he was offside, but just the sheer physicality of the man has given us a 3-1 lead. Torre scores yet again. I say yet again, it's only his fourth goal, and the other game was a hat trick. But he scored four goals. He just creates carnage when he comes on. He's the League One Darwin Nunes. Yeah, he's not off actually, I have to say. It's poor defending from the uh, the number four of Oxford, though. He should have done a little bit better. But um, brilliant. Yep, 3 1 up. If it had been 3 0, would have been perfect. Because I'm, I'm running out of home games to keep these clean sheets. I need three more. Results matter. Oh no. Good save there by Borja. I have to say, he's made a massive difference since coming in. Now we only concede one a game. Maximum two. Rather than the five or sixes earlier on in the season. I say that where he completely misses a shot he should have saved. Three two. Of course it is. Obviously. The scripting in this game cannot be underestimated. It's just so scripted. It's unreal. And I'm not doing anything stupid now. I'm just going to keep the ball. I'm just going to keep the ball for the next four minutes. It's just important that we don't concede another. Don't drop points. Just play it safe. Play it casual. Just chill out. 3-2. I mean, let's... The, the scoreline flatters them a lot, really. It should have been a lot more, to be fair. But we got the three points. That's all that matters. Um, the, 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 let's talk out of character now and out of the scenario. The sweat I'm feeling right now is something chronic. Oh, they drew. Ipswich drew. So now they're only seven points ahead. And we're four points out of Sheffield Wednesday with a game in hand. We are finally beginning to pull away from the pack. Now, this is the big one. Can we beat Ipswich? That's the crucial bit here. One thing I want to check, how many more home games have I got to keep this clean sheet thing? One, two, three, four. Okay, I've got to get three clean sheets in the next four home games um, to tick off that criteria, and hopefully that should be enough to keep me in a job. I'd like to think winning the league will be enough to keep me in a job, or just going up will be enough to keep me in a job, but you just never know. You know what? I'm even going to go to a pre-match press conference for this, just to Thanks play a bit waiting. of mind games, get in their questions. head a little bit. Signing Hilton from Blackburn looks like it could turn out to be one of the bargains of the season. He's, what are they talking about? He's not even played. I think he'll surprise people. He'll surprise people by playing for another team next year. The close game we were against Oxford last time. Uh, what we're doing is working. The last time you played Ipswich made easy work of beating your team comfortably. What are your chances of winning today? We'll be competitive, I promise. I mean, that sounds a bit pathetic, but then it is me. And in arguably the biggest game of the season... Dobbin replaces Mendes Lang and Godwin Malief is coming in for Wad. Even though Wad's been decent in that last game, both goals did come down his side, I think, um, or near enough. So, well, actually, no, they didn't. But I just prefer Godwin Malief. He's an actual centre back. So let's go with that. They're playing a 5 4 1 
Interesting. I remember Jackson and Harness took me to the cleaners last time we played, so hopefully that won't happen today. We're away at Portman Road in the East Country. Right, here we go. Here we go. We're going to be razor focused on just getting a result out of today. That's all that matters. Revenge for the last time we played. Oh, hello. Oh, this could be a dream start. Lungoy. Oh, it is a dream. Start. It's 1-0 to Derby. Attention, attention. Comeback is on. The comeback is on. <coughs> Brilliant finish by Lingoy. Top scorer in the league. Proves why he is a man for the big occasion. That's 29 goals and 38 matches. That is some record, my son, and he's still not done yet. Come on, boys. Oh, oh here we go. This is the problem we've got. Is that when they get in against the back three, they're in trouble. A good ball. Burns on the ball here. He's done me. Yeah, it's 1 1. They're very, very clear going. The minute the, the midfield gets bypassed, I shouldn't have done it though. I brought Bird and Knight out to press a bit higher at the pitch. I shouldn't have done that. It's my fault. You stupid bastard. It switched bounce back and retaliate quite quickly, which is not really what I wanted. I wanted to kind of keep him a bit more on the counter. It's a good finish. I think it's Chaplin, is it? Yeah, it's a good finish. Good player as well at this level. Good, just have to do it all over again. Bird on the ball to Greylinger. Oh, nearly a brilliant ball by Greylinger. Dobbin was going to be in around the back there. Dobbin the bird trap. Dobbin never meant to burgle. Dobbin only meant to assist or score. Ah, oh, Dobbin, you've got to do better. Dobbin was outnumbered. Dobbin, good ball out wide to Parkhausen. Oh, he plays the ball into Dobbin. Oh, I've hit the wrong button though. <laughs> I've hit the wrong button. I was trying to power shot. I've absolutely just chipped it straight to the goalkeeper in a really good situation. That's annoying. But how is not good ball to Lingoy? Oh, just that first touch. If that first touch had been better, then I would have been able to slip in bloody um, Dobbin as well. Very even first half to be fair. I think we've been slightly the better team, but... They do look dangerous every time they come forward, but then tell me a team that doesn't when they play me. It's just not on. They're defending really well there. 1-1 one, one at the break, a very even game. We've slightly had the better of it, and if I defended a little better, we could be leading this game. I'm wondering when Mendes Wang might have to come on here. His pace might be enough. Dobbin's been involved, but the quality has not been great. But he's a cult hero. He will turn up when we need him most. He is the Dark Knight. He's the hero we deserve. But not the one we need right now. Well, I need you right now. Oh, Greylinger nearly. Could have cut that back to the boy and we would have been in business. Greylinger here, Greylinger. Go on, lad. Use your speed. Greylinger. Oh, that was it nearly. We've got to win this. I think if we're going to have any chance of winning the league, we need to win this game. They aren't going to drop seven points in the last seven games. That ain't going to happen. Don't you dare. I can see him in the middle. Oh, brilliant defending. Finally, for a change, I did some good defending. Goblin Mengi there did great. Great opening contribution there as he releases Mendes Wang. Go on, mate. Just keep going. Mendes Wang. This is genius. He's done brilliantly there as Wang. Oh, for God's sake. Oh, hello. Good take by Bird. Finds Toure. Great ball to Wang. He tees it. Oh, it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. The, the 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 they're appearing. The little gaps are appearing. Good ball by Torre finds Max Bird. Torre, to, oh f f that's just that's where the lack of technical ability kicks in. We've drawn in isolation. It's not a bad result. In relation to the league, not great, is it? A game of very few chances, very, very back and forth, very even. We've missed an opportunity there. We've really missed an opportunity there. The playoffs are coming. There'll be no one there to stop them when they arrive. Well, someone's gone on board James Chester, which is great news. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll deal with that later, mate, whatever. So it's our game against Morecambe today. Like I said, all we need to do really is win this and preferably 
with a clean sheet because that will help me with my target of staying our, um, staying in a job. Uh, we're going to go with the same team because we played really well, I think, for the Ipswich game for the majority. We were much better defensively at the back. They've got a couple of decent players, but they are bottom of the league as it stands. But I think that front three can be a little bit dangerous. I know Cole Stockton, for one, is a very decent player. But we've got Lungoy, League One's top goal scorer. I think the hardest thing is that when you've been playing ultimate team for a little bit and then you're used to being able to kind of pop in the ball around and doing first time passes, then you make the step down to League One level. And it's literally like chalk and cheese, do you know what I mean? Like, they can't pass for Toffee. That's better by Barkhausen. He's going to play in Sibley. That's an awful finish by Louis Sibley. Why didn't Lingoy just tee it to Barkhausen? Like I asked, we should be ahead there. That's really bad from Sibley. I would have put my house on him scoring that. Because the, when it happens positionally, if I just my natural inclination is always to go and press the ball. So if I drag one of the defenders out of position, we're in so much trouble. And I need to learn to stop doing that. It's just a habit that I've just got to get out of. Grailing it, the ball falls to Dobbin quite fortuitously. Lingoy on the ball. Hits it to Dobbin. <laughs> Dobbin has kicked himself and fallen over. <laughs> oh my god. There he is. What a goal. Oh no, it's not gone in. I don't believe it. What a goal that would have been. The little layoff there to, from Lungoy to Sibley. Look at this. The little. So deft. And a lovely side foot finish. Just a great save by the goalkeeper. It's been a while since I scored from a corner. It would be a good time to do it again. And he hasn't used this. I'm getting annoyed here because they're defending too well. Like, too well. It's annoying how well they're defending here. Dobbin has been involved and unfortunately a lot of the plays come through him and his quality at the moment is not quite there that's great play there by knight lingoy hits it oh you're joking oh that's literally my mini mike wide can't believe that oh, i thought it was just nestling into the far corner it's a good ball by Knight to release Barkhausen. Just needs to inject some pace into the game. That's definitely a foul on Sibley there. Dobbin's got to come off. I'm sorry. I love I love Dobbin. I love him. But not today. Today, Dobbin is Dobbin is cack. So is Barkhausen. He's coming off. And Munir's going to come on as well. It's the usual free chain. Torre is going up front with Lungoy in a hope to sort of open the game up and just one moment of magic. And if there's a man for the occasion, it's him. That's brilliant play there. Dob <gasps> Dobbin, just tee it. Sibley on the ball, hits it. I cannot deal with this right now. I cannot deal with this nonsense. The scripting is just beginning to piss me off a little bit too much. Oh, you're bottom of, you're fighting the bottom of the table and you're in a really good run of form. Oh, you, you're, you're definitely going to draw or lose this game, aren't you? That's a foul. Thanks, Ref, for actually turning up. Good to see you. Oh, boy, good ball back to Mendes Wang. And find Sibley. Great football, more Sibley. Just, they've just got everyone on the six yard box. It's a joke. Knight whips the ball in. God win the leaf. You've got to get there, lad. You've got to get there. Oh my god, this is a joke. They've got to every single pass. There's always been a man in the way. It's been the best defensive performance I've seen on FIFA this year from a team. Don't you effing dare. Sibley on the ball. He's tired, but we need a goal. This is the time for big players. Big players in the big moments. Tanganga, good ball there to Mendes Lang. That's what I mean. Big players, big moments. You give it to Mendes Lang. Absolutely cacks it. Is there time? Referee. He's, he's there. Nothing today. Useless. 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 Well, we kept a clean sheet, but at the expense of not scoring. Hope you lazy bastards! Ipswich lost. They lost. <sighs> Ipswich lost their game. And now we're level on points for Sheffield Wednesday. With five games to go. I don't care that West Ham are upset about the lack of time and Ang's been playing. Did you see an Ang play? Useless. 
Oh, there is some good news. Collins has been... Uh, well, there's an offer for Collins from Preston, yes. And there's an offer for Wildsmith as well um, from Rail Sporting. Yes, okay, fine. Monthly scout report. I actually sent uh, a scout away for a couple of months um, just to see if there was anything good going on in England. Guess what? There isn't. All we needed to do was beat Morecambe. If we beat Morecambe, we'd only be flipping six, uh, sorry, four points behind Ipswich. How can this be so wrong? Get seven clean sheets in home league matches. I got five out of seven, so I need to keep two more, which is great. So I'm not swearing at you. And then win the league title, which isn't going to happen. At least I've done the profit one, which is great. But we're making this bloody difficult. Thank you very much for watching today's episode. I hope that you have enjoyed it. Of course, if you have, then please do drop a like on the episode. Share, subscribe. We've only got two more episodes left to go of this first season. Are we going to get promoted? Are we going to win the league? Or am I going to drop into the playoffs? Am I even going to keep my job? Let me know all your thoughts down in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching. And until I see you again, take care everyone and stay cool. Useless. I'll get that bastard yet.